Within months of the great general's death, his longtime foe Scipio Africanus passed away in Italy. It really was the end of a generation when the two of them left the world at roughly the same time. The real living presence of the Second Punic War died with them. Rome and Carthage fought a third and final Punic War that ended with the complete destruction of Carthage in 146 BC. In the end, Carthage was broken into and destroyed and set fire. And there's a story that's current among modern historians, though I fear not in any ancient text, that the Romans sowed the ruins of Carthage with salt so that nothing could grow there ever again. With its greatest enemy destroyed, Rome grew from an Italian city-state into a colossal empire that would dominate the world for the next 500 years. Reduced to ruins, Carthage and its history were lost forever. But the vanquished empire's greatest general lived on in the writings of Roman historians. Livy and others painted a portrait of Hannibal far different from the man who had given fallen Roman officers proper military funerals and who had rid his own government of corruption. They portrayed the Carthaginian as a cruel and greedy tyrant who was godless and built bridges made of dead Roman soldiers. Is he an honorable man? Is he a horrible man? The real Hannibal is somewhere lost in these images. I think Hannibal's most extraordinary qualities are his intelligence, resourcefulness, courage, determination. He may be driven by hatred as well. Is he a Carthaginian hero or is he somebody who is driven purely by desire for revenge? Certainly that's what the Romans would like us to think. They don't like him. Occasionally there's a grudging admiration for him, but they don't tell us anything nearly as much as we'd like. Hannibal we perhaps remember in part because of the epic nature of some of his achievements, you know, taking elephants across the Alps and these massive victories that he won. Perhaps there's also that element of romanticism that often comes associated with someone who does all these things but loses in the end, like Napoleon, like Caesar. A man's heart may well long for victory rather than for peace. I better understand the aspiring spirit than the politic brain. And once on me too smiled such fortune as is yours. Nonetheless, if in prosperity the gods also gave us wisdom, we should consider not only what has happened in the past, but what might happen in the future. To ignore all else, I alone am sufficient warning of what fate may bring. The earth is quiet for now. We've been hit before and there's more out there. An asteroid rocking this planet, imminent. If a super tornado were to hit downtown Dallas, forget if. It's more like when Mega Disasters premieres Tuesday night at 9 on the History Channel.